Greetings, my name is Chris from CF1010 Joomla Training. I'm here to give you some advice on how to edit your Joomla articles, how to add content. And we'll be using one of our templates, but this will work uh, on uh, your templates as well if you've got the right plugins in. So what this one is going to be is an updated one of how to add images to articles and how to create those pop-ups. Now this is a, something I'm asked a lot. Uh, images are very important for your website, especially if you're someone like myself who takes loads. But what we're going to do is log into our website. Oh, I'm already logged in. I'm logging in from the front end, but this will work from the back end. And what we're going to do, just to get you used to uh, the process, I'm going to add a new article. But obviously, if you had an article you wanted to add a picture to already on there, you just click on the edit button. So I'll give it a title. Adding uh, a uh, photo or two, we're at, we're at more than two because some people ask, can you put more than one picture into Joomla article? Yes, you can. And now the content goes here. What I'm going to do is very quickly go into something we've prepared some text here. This is text from Google Docs. So control C to copy. And Click in here, control V to paste. You might have to sort of play around with the formatting. And a handy little tool here is this one here, which will uh, remove the formatting. If you've got a lot of formatting and colors, click on this one, it will tidy it up. But again, you might have to play a little bit. But first of all, we're going to add an image to the top, to the right hand side. I'd like to justify right for accessibility reasons. So you put your cursor on the top row and we will justify the image right. So first of all I need to get some images in and what I tend to do I tend to use Picasso. So I'm going to open up Picasso and I'm going to pick out randomly one, two, three, four, five pictures. I'm going to export these to my uh, desktop and I'm going to call it um, Carnival Joomla. You can upload your images directly. They will resize them, but, uh, but depending on your, how fast your browser is and what's your limits on your server, I like to resize them beforehand. And a good size, I feel, for, for a pop-up is 800. So I resize to 800. I'm exporting these from Picasa so we can now pick them up. And don't forget, you know, if you want them, Picasso lessons, let me know. I do enjoy Picasso and it's a free download. It gets better and better. Anyway, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to add that image. The first thing we need to do is click on this little icon here, insert edit image. Up comes the uh, image editor. Depending on how fast your computer is and your broadband speed. And what I'm going to do is find in my Folder. These are the folders. So I'm going to click on the folder called Training. And what I'm going to do, show you how easy it is again, add a new folder. And I'm going to just call this uh, Carnival. Because it's Carnival Pictures, which my granddad took many years ago. So thank you, granddad. I didn't think all these years later I would be using your pictures for this. So I've created a new folder called Carnival. You can see it here. So I've got to click on it to open it up. You can see this little breadcrumb trail. So this is the route. These are all the folders here. It's a folder called Training, one called Carnival, and we're here now. So we need to upload the pictures into here. Clicking on this button here, go to Upload. And depending how it is set up, uh, you might have the resize button here. So if you've got a larger than 800 pixels, one you can click on this one don't worry about the thumbnails if you've got that appearing don't worry about it we don't use it now we've we've made it even easier so we're going to browse now to find these ones we've just cropped and put on my desktop which uh, is Carnival Joomla and I can select all of these open and it'll bring them all into to the upload if you want to rename them, you can do. 
devices. Yeah, we've got devices, Carnival, kind of that one. We only do one, but again, these are really quite important because this is your, your, will be used for your alt tag and it's all metadata. So make your, put some descriptive text in here. Don't call it image one, two, three, four, five, whatever. This is important as well. But we know we, we resize them to 800. We don't have to worry about, worry about that now. And we're going to upload them. And again, depending on your uh, connection speed, this will upload in the background. Um, and this is for putting individual or um, images into an article, or obviously numerous images into an article. There are other features you have on your Joomla website if you want to put a whole gallery up. But uh, more on that another time. But as we're doing the little hamsters running like mad and it's brought all those images across, copied it from our C drive from our desktop and it's put them onto our server. It's on the server now, we're ready to go. So what we need to do is click on the first image we want to put in, the one that's going to be appearing at the top. And what I'm doing here, rather than what you could do, you could click on it, insert and drag it. If you change this to the dimension you want, and I recommend probably 200, do this 200, click away, be proportional so it'll be set correctly. I'm going to give it a margin. This is a bit of a safe margin around. And I'm going to align it to the right. And you'll see what's happening over on the right-hand side, the preview over here. It'll give you a rough idea of what it's going to look like. So if we justified it on the left, it would look like that. And if you put a, a bigger margin around, it will put a, a bigger margin ar around. So you get a rough idea of what it's going to look like. So we're inserting that, we've got the alternative uh, tech devices, carnival, uh, photo, I could say taken by my granddad, but we won't go into this in a moment, but you could, it's worth that little bit extra effort. And we're going to insert this image into here. So there it is, the image is justified over on the right. If it does get a little bit busy, again, look at this little button here. And it will toggle it full screen, even though you can't see the image. It's going over right over the right hand side. Uh, I can see it. It gives you a bit more space to work on. I'm just going to go toggle back. And you can drag this to make it easier to work with. So what we're going to do with the bottom images, because sometimes you want images, more than one image appearing on your page. And obviously you could put one in here and justify left, but there's not enough text to wrap around. We're going to have a few images along the bottom. And again, it's a bit of trial and error, but we're going to put this one down here. And also beware that sometimes with your browsers, if it's not working properly, try a different uh, browser uh, or make sure your browser's up to date with Java. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put another image in, go in here. And because we've already uploaded the image, we can go into the carnival folder. We had to do it one at a time, unfortunately, but it's not going to be too much of a hardship. And we're going to do that dimension. We're going to put it down to 200, but we're not going to just align it, justify it. We're going to leave it as it is. And you'll see why in a moment. Because if you start aligning, it could become very messy. So we're just not going to align this one. So we're going to insert. And what we're going to do, without doing anything else, we know where the cursor is, it's all down here. We're going to insert another one. Oh, my little hamster running around. Uh, click on the carnival folder here. We're going to put the next one in, which is going to be this one. It's got the alternative text on there. I should have renamed it, but it's going to be a demo. You will, of course, do a lot better than myself. Change the dimension down to 200 or whatever you want the thumbnail to look like. We're not going to align it because it will mess up our formatting because we want this on the nice tidy row on the bottom. We're going to go to five pixels, insert. And what we're going to do, do it again. Just think next time I show you, we'll probably have a way of actually putting them all in one go. So we're going to pick on the third one, change that dimension to 200 or whatever size you want your thumbnail. Don't worry about the alignment. Give it a bit of a margin so the images are not buffering up to each other. 
Insert, and we do one more, just to give you an example. Insert, edit image, and click on our little folder, or carnival. There we have it. Alternative text if we need to. Two. Dimensions for the thumbnail is going to be 200. Alignment, we're not bothering because this is already going to be just in a, a row at the bottom. And we, oops, update this one, this one as well. Okay, this is where it went wrong. So what we can do, <laughs> just me not thinking. We do that one more time. See, even someone who uses Joomla makes a mistake, but you can always undo it as I did there. So we're going to put the final one in. Again, this time I'm going to concentrate and try and change the dimension to 200. And actually, look what I'm doing. Not bothering with alignment. Margin of 5. And we're going to insert. So there we have all our images already in there. And it will wrap itself around because obviously we can't go over there. If we made this 100 pixels, it would obviously get four or five along but again it's a little bit of trial and error but we've got some nice images here at the bottom scrolling down because it's a new article where are we going to put it well we've got it in a new section or for alias if you're writing on behalf of someone else you can put their name in here it is published i'm not going to put it into a draft and published mode featured do we want on the front page probably not so we say no start publishing I'm not going to put a date in there so it'll go live when i save it Finish publishing, there's no expiry date, and it's for the public. If I wanted just my members to see it, I could put it into registered, but we're not going to because I like people to see what I'm doing. Down here we've got the meta description and keywords. Keywords are very handy, so I could put in carnival here, devises. It give a better, um, put commas in between um, words and phrases. And the idea about this is obviously good for search engines, but it's also good for connecting articles as well. But more that on another day. We've covered a huge amount. So I'm just going to click on save. So we're saving the, the article. And if we go into the news, adding a photo or two, look onto our article, up up the article. And there we have our images. It's put it, because we got this set for the alternative text, that's now given a caption. If we click on the image, that pops up, not up a nice little pop-up window. And because there's multiple images within the article, cool, we can go to next, next. And they're all the nice same size, so it all looks very nice and tidy. If we scroll down here, you can see it's aligned it quite well. And if that was a bit smaller, then we probably would get three along there. But because uh, the way we put it in there and we can click on any one and up it will pop if we're not happy with it because obviously because we're editors we can log in and edit this article but we're happy we're extremely happy so what I'm going to do is just log out always good to log out end of a session so you don't lock any of your articles so we're logging out and because we want to show off we can go and have a look see see our um document which is published and of course we could like it onto facebook google plus and lots of other things we can do but that will be another lesson so i hope that helps you in adding images to an article but you don't forget there is a gallery you can use as well so enjoy happy jumeling bye